Alright guys, we are back today. We gotta do some X-Max repairs, uh, sad as that is. Uh, we're gonna have to pop off these caps. And I'm hoping to do that without losing them. But these are kind of a pain. Sometimes I'm able to do it and sometimes I'm not. Good. There's that pin off. The hub pulls off. I'm gonna take these off. And that's way too small. That's really small. Look how small that is. That's a seven, so or four. So this is a five. Five is too small to have five. Of the seven, way too big. I should have a little T wrench here. This is why I'm supposed to be putting tools back in the toolbox. If I can't find the T wrench, then I'll find the pliers. That might be what I have to do. Sadly, these are a two five. No, oh, they're bigger than a two five. That must be a three. That or three instead of the two five. Now, if I can find my little T wrench, it's supposed to be sitting here. Oh, there it is. I guess. Don't even need the. Now with these, I might actually have to, yeah, so we are going to have to drop off the, so you get that so. So these do go on, they don't have a... kind of weird so that should just go right back in there with that arm up pretty simple actually Kind of give those a little snug tight there. You don't need them too tight. 
You have your steering link. Super long screw, put it back in, and then you should be able to tighten that right back down, just like this. So now you're going to take your hub. Sorry guys, I'm trying not to take it out of your sight, but see that's where you gotta be careful because these things they'll fly. Another really good way to do this is if you got a pliers. Or you can push them on like that with a screwdriver. You just gotta be careful because they will. If you let them go, they will fly. So there you go. Now the nuts will actually go on. Now for the rear, the rear is going to be a little bit simpler because you don't have to deal with the steering. Like that, catch that, let it fly away. Pull your hub off. I'm kind of just checking the hubs, making sure the hubs are still somewhat decent because I don't want to put. Bad hubs back on, trip out wheels. Or These come out really easy too if you just hold them like that. Yeah. Push your pin out. Take your new hub. Put your new hub over. I kind of line up the hole, grab my pin. And then just simply, well, you gotta take the nut off. And I'll also pop these off. So, like that, they'll go flying, so you gotta be careful. Back on, simple enough. There we go. And then just kind of tighten these up. They're a lock nut. So this is not stock. I think this has the RPM kit on it. So your arms don't come loose. And this is a nice kit, guys. The screw kit that RPM sells. So if you don't have it, it's a good uh it's a good investment for these. Um it's nice to have. So and then just make sure you're watching your spline, because there is a certain way they go on. If I remember correctly, and that way is like this. And then you gotta grab your little pin again. And that went on really extremely easy. It shouldn't have gone on that easy. And then for now, throw my nuts on here so I don't lose them. I'm gonna turn the truck around. I'll do these other two, and then we'll come back and uh, talk a little bit. All right, guys. So there we go. The X Max is now back together, minus one thing. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to stick the stock tires on it and run them, or the old tires on it and run them, 
or should I buy new tires and what tires should I buy so let me know down in the comments what you guys think and we're gonna go from there on that front but otherwise it's back together I can put the old tires back on it and then get it running thank you guys for watching